Oh god. Okay, this is on quite tight. It's a hard job being a printer. Cool. This part's off the printer, which took 10 hours, which is basically the longest print I've ever done. The rest of the parts are printed, so now I'm gonna crack out the support material, which should sound pretty cool. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'm gonna need a knife. Going for it! Oh, there we go. Perfect. Awesome. Look how well that came out. All right. So now is a really great time to explain how this vice mechanism works. Ooh, I might have to sand bits first. Basically, we have this pin which sits in the bottom of the vice. Now that will slot into any one of these little cutout circles. And then we have the jaw here, which sits on like that. And then the bolt goes through this and is fixed in there with a nut. And it goes through the jaw. And then when you tighten down on this bolt, it pulls the jaw in and down towards that pivot point. And so what that does is it pulls the jaw closed, but it also pulls the jaw down onto the track. And so what that means, you don't get any rise. So the, the jaws will remain parallel, which is really good because when you clamp something up high on a normal pushing from the back thing that's of low quality, you'll find that this jaw tilts upwards, which is no good because then the thing can just pop out the top. So, um, I've noticed that this, which I deliberately dimensioned very tight, I don't know, that's fitting on. Uh, I'm gonna give this a little bit of a sand, just a minute fraction, just to open it up a little bit, and I'll put this all together. Kuro decided that the first layer of this overhang was gonna be printed lengthways, which just made it sag heaps, so it's got not the greatest finish on the side, which is a shame. And now this slides relatively smoothly. So the way this works is we have this bolt, which I just had in my box, uh, go down through here into this piece. Now that sits underneath the vise in here. Then this passes through this channel. I'll show that there's a channel through here. And that's important because that allows the angle of the bolt relative to the um, hook piece to change. Then we have this, which allows it to pivot. And then inside the handle here, we have a nut embedded in. And so this is what allows us to tighten. That is now in place. And just tighten that out. Okay, cool. All right, so the way this works is, as you can see, it hooks into these little channels, and then when you tighten it down, as I said before, it pulls it down and brings it forward. So let me just loosen it up, and then what we can do, let's clamp down onto this. We just put that in place, line it up, find the nearest hooky thing, and then when we tighten this, that will apply the clamping force to that face. All right, that's... So this is printed at 25% using Cura's triangular fill. Uh, this piece was obviously printed like that. This piece was printed like that, and then the rest were printed quite simply. So um, the main one was this one being printed like that so that the layers were like this. So when I press that way, it's not shearing off a layer in any way. I just wanna see what kind of force I can get. So the final version of this will have a base mounted on it. You'll see these six screws here. Um, they will bolt this down onto the base piece, which will allow me to mount this to my drill press. Yep, yeah. Damn, that's in there. Uh, really quite securely. And I'm sure you saw that snap forward when the pressure was released, so. And also, when you mount something to drill it, you'll notice there's nothing in the way. So I could have designed this thing to just a shallower angle so that it pulled it more forward instead of more down, which, you know, would have helped the actual 
clamping force instead of the pulling down force, but that would have meant that this block sticks out into the area that gets drilled, which is no good. I could have also made this block much fatter, but then that just makes the thing longer, so that's no good either. Looking at it just then, I notice, I think if, it, if we get a fault, it, I reckon it'll probably be along this. I'd say that's the thinnest part, so when it's pulling down on it, that could pull, pull that up. Like. Uh, I think if anything was going to fail is not that it's probably this part here this pivot part where the that is it is a being pressed really on. thin part yeah it's just it's just small and it's taking all of the load and basically just the area of that circle I mean this is split over two bars these bars are quite strong I was pulling on them with my hands couldn't break them this is it's actually quite strong because of the direction of the print cool all right cool that's in place, and we have the jaw that slots on, and there we go, one vice. That is so cool. Alright, so I've printed version 2, and there are a few subtle changes that I've made since the last version. Alright, so most obviously these are now all printed in blue. Um, I've reprinted these parts here, this pivot part and the pin with 100% infill to give them more strength because they were taking quite a lot of load and I noticed them uh, flexing. The other thing I've done is added these two little markers so I can see where the clear channel for drilling through is. And I've also shortened and then lengthened uh, the handle. That just makes it a lot easier to uh, spin with your finger. The third thing that I've added is this little tab here. And what that allows you to do is just easily pull down to engage the, the pin on the bottom while you're screwing it in just until it catches. Then you can take over fully just to tighten it down. The uh, last thing I've done is finally added this base plate. Uh, that bolts on with six bolts, uh, just through the bottom there. And what that allows me to do is just add a channel to anchor it to the drill press, which is just with a simple wing nut bolt. All right, let's, uh, let's give it a test on the drill press. Fasten that down. Perfect. And then that can be as tight as it needs to be. You need one on each side? No, well the idea is you just you just want it to hold it in place. So you just do that and then you clamp it down. It won't move. Let's drill this. This is the version one jaw. So this will be a bit cathartic as well. Take it as close as possible and push down on this part, and then as we turn, eventually the pin will catch on one of the loops. Feel that go in, there we go. Tightens in and down very securely. That is nice and flat. Now obviously that has no resistance to being drilled. and secure. There. Drilled hole. It works! Yeah, it works. I'm really happy with it actually. I've been playing it with it recently so I'm not super crazy excited because I knew it was gonna work but hey I designed this thing someone else came up with the idea but I think I've made it a lot better than the original design. This model will be uploaded on my Thingiverse and Imagine page, and if you want to download it and print it out and see how it goes for you, do so and let me know. I'd love to see anyone who's built that. That would be so cool for me, you know, as a creator. I've made this thing. It'd be really cool to see other people using it, you know? Share it to us on our Facebook page. Yes, yeah, if you do make one of those, as well as the Thingiverse makes, and I think Imagine has a, a makes thing, Share it to our Facebook page. It'd be really cool to see and, you know, I, I love seeing this sort of thing. Thanks for watching. I hope this was educational enough and I hope printing will allow you to make something of your own. You know what the next phase is? Like, almost like milling adjustment. Turn knobs on each side so then you can position the hole exactly on a viced piece. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the crazy thing, right? The difference between a drill and a mill is very minimal. Like... It's, the torque is going to be different, of course, but that could actually be a really fun project. If I was able to fix this securely enough, I could make a really super basic mill. 
Hmm. Sorry. Hmm. Dun 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 dun